Hey everyone, my name is Petra. Uh, today we're here at the Stoke Kangri Base Camp in the Himalayas in India. And I'm going to be giving a female review on the Enlightened Equipment Revelation and also sort of walking through some of the little features on it. So the quilt I have is in the short length and standard width. It's good to 10 degrees Fahrenheit and negative 12 Celsius. So I'm around 5'4 and about, I don't know, 130 pounds. And so this is sort of how I line up with it. So this is, is a pretty much a perfect fit for me. Um, and I know when I first got it, there was a bit of complication on how to actually use it, or there, I saw a lot of questions online um, on how to use it. So I'm going to go over how I use it. There's, I think there's a few different ways. So when you get the bag, or the quilt rather, it comes with two straps. I've only ever really found the need to use this one strap. So there's a male end and a female end here. So I pull that up to about a little bit, just about, uh, just under my butt, I guess. And the sleeping pad I'm using is the Thermarest Neo Air, Neo Light, I believe, uh, in women's. It has an R value of 3.9. It's, uh, it's a nice sleeping pad but it's a little bit delicate, even considering it's lightweight. So the way I remember how to put it on is my boyfriend, he sleeps on the right-hand side, so I put the male end on the right-hand side of the sleeping pack. So now for the quilt. I'll start from the bottom and work my way up. Uh, the one I got, so since I'm, I, I thought it was kind of important to give a female review because Females are were, were different. We or at least myself, I get quite cold. Um, and a shout out to Tyler who helped me a lot figuring out the specs that I that would suit me the best. So it has a zipper. So I do up the zipper first, and two snaps here and here, and then you can cinch up the footbed. So. I, usually, I don't like actually stretching the elastic too much, so I kind of just work the material down the uh, elastic bands. And then they have little cinch cords here. So you could probably cinch it down more than this. Uh, I usually just shove a t-shirt down here. I know Enlightened Equipment also has uh, booties, I, I believe. So there's your the bottom. And then flip it over. So the whole idea behind this is that you're saving weight uh, by not sleeping on down on your back. <laughs> and so the clips here, you can see, so here's the, the male clip on the quilt that goes into the female clip that you've put on your sleeping pad and vice versa over here. So you can make this as tight as you want. The male end slides on the elastic like that. And so for me, that's all I've done so far. I know that there's, you have the option to have another, um, I guess, elastic band up closer if you want a really tight fit, which again, you know, thinking that as a female, I would need it to be as similar to a sleeping bag as possible, I would need it, and I haven't yet. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right, now I need to take off my boots. So I just took off my boots so I can show you, you know, the real deal. So pull it back. I don't slide down the sill. And then I put, put my feet down here in the foot pocket. And all I've been doing so far is, ugh, I just do this cinch. There's another one as well, but I haven't found the need. I, it hasn't been uh, cold enough. I think the coldest I've used this in so far is maybe about zero Celsius. So that's, I don't know if that is very nice. So I clip that up. I kind of cocoon my way in and then lay down and there's a little cinch cord here so you can pull it tight and then you're in there snug as a buck so you want to be the whole point of this is you don't want it if, if you're cold you don't want this to be hanging so you just you sort of tuck everything just slightly underneath your shoulders or slightly underneath your butt same thing if you're lying on your side you can just Reach around, grab it, and tuck it underneath your shoulder, and you'll be snug.
all night. So I deliberated a long time on whether I wanted, I thought I could get away with the slim and shave a few ounces, which for me it didn't actually matter that much. Uh, Cause back home, I'm mostly a back sleeper. But uh, chatting with Tyler from Enlightened Equipment, he gave me a lot of hints and tips and I'm really happy I went with the standard length. Cause, so it depends on your sleeping style. If you 100% of the time are sleeping on your back, not moving, then you may be able to get away with the slim. I'm not very busty or very broad. So if that was the case, I may have been able to go with the slim. <coughs> Excuse me. But with this, uh, if you lay on your stomach at all, that's when you're widest and longest. So you wanna take that into consideration when choosing uh, your size. And then, again, I never sleep on my side, but for whatever reason, all of a sudden, I got this sleeping pad, which the way, I didn't mention earlier, the way, the whole point of a quilt is that you need a good sleeping pad that'll insulate you from below, because otherwise the ground is just gonna make you pretty cold. So you wanna make sure you have a good sleeping pad. I'd suggest, uh, Sea to Summit has really good ones out right now that they just came out with, and then this, uh, what is this, Neo Air. It's, an, it's okay, I'm still working, working through some things with it. Uh, but anyway, so, Lying on my side, having that little bit of extra weight or extra width was really good for that as well. So that's how I chose uh, my size. And you also get to customize your colors, which sometimes turns into a disaster, <laughs> as you can see with my choices. So now for the actual review part, um, I've used this for about two weeks of camping out here in the Indi Indian Himalayas. And so far, I'm really, really happy for it. So the main reason I want to do this review was uh, I love researching gear before I buy it and something like a quilt which um, is totally foreign and scary the idea that you're not completely cocooned and completely warm was really nerve-wracking for me as a female who's always cold um, and so this is sort of for other other girls out there that are considering something like this but are worried they'll be too cold so far I'm incredibly happy with this uh, there was the first night I used it I was shocked in my whole life I don't think ever been able to go underneath a blanket or anywhere and without you know any friction or extra pillows or blankets or whatever and actually warm myself up from ice cold and so I was able to do that in this which I was thrilled about granted it wasn't super cold it was probably still plus 10 but for me it was a big, it was a big deal um, and then but in addition to that there have been a few nights where I go into the sleeping bag too cold and if you're it's probably just going to stay cold so sometimes you know you do need to warm up underneath your armpits or put some socks on or something like that. Uh, as far as the draftiness which is what I was mostly concerned about I've had no problems whatsoever it's a super easy fix just to stuff it underneath. Like I said if you're concerned there's extra snaps and extra elastics that I haven't even been using. Um, <coughs> I'm able to stuff this down into I think it's an 8 liter stuff sack quite small. I could probably even get it smaller if I really wanted to, but um, I sort of, I opted for more weight so I could uh, be warmer basically or use it for more more of the year. The one thing that I've been noticing, but I'm pretty sure Enlightened Equipment on their website has solutions for it, I just haven't had internet, is uh, some of the baffles after being stuffed and even after I, you know, quaff it for a bit or leave it, uh, some of the baffles still seem a little bit feather bear to me, but uh, it, it hasn't been a problem at all. It's still really insulating uh, and maybe throughout the night as I shift and turn, it sort of sorts itself out. So yes, so far initial review, super happy with it. It's super light, it's super comfortable, it's a cloud. Uh, it's kept me really warm, even, even when I've been really cold. Uh, so it's a great product if you're hesitant or felt like, you know, yeah, okay, 200 reviews they have on their website are all from men saying that, oh, I was perfectly toasty warm. Um, I sort of went for a leap and I was hoping that, that it would be the case, but as uh, someone who's generally cold, I'm really happy to say that it's worked like a charm. You get a little feather sticking out, and so there's this tip that some uh, it seems like a lot of people don't know. You never want to pull that out because then you've created a hole and then that encourages other feathers to go out. So what you do is you go from the other side, it's kind of awkward, but you try and pinch it from the other side of the sleeping bag and pull
pull it through. There, and it's through, and then you just sort of massage the material, and then no sign at all. But yeah, great product.